Hi, I'm Matt Williamson with Yard Barker here to talk about the Bears going to Tennessee to take on the Titans. Both these teams have lost two in a row now, and they both have five wins on their resume. But Chicago has been outscored by their opponents this year, which is sort of hard to believe. Um, Tennessee's plus seven turnover differential is the second best in fo football right now, largely to their defense taking the ball away on 12 occasions. But even more so, just be just because the, the uh, only the Packers have turned the ball over less than Tennessee on offense, so they're excelling on both sides of the ball in their turnover differential. The Titans are excellent on offense and not just reliant on Derrick Henry. That's a little bit of a misnomer. It's a very strong passing game with quite a few dangerous weapons. I just wanted to throw a little shout out to Corey Davis. He's having an excellent year. It's really stepped up, and, and Ryan Tannehill's playing at a very high level. Only five offenses are producing more points per game than Tennessee. Tannehill and company are elite on third downs, but the defense excels in this category too. Now, only two offenses are worse than Chicago's on a per-play basis, while only three offenses are better than the Titans' 6.2 yards per play. But surprisingly, since only three offenses rush for more yards per game, Tennessee is near the bottom of the league in time of possession. That doesn't quite add up. Uh, Tennessee averages just one sack per game this year, their defense. A few, a few teams rush the passer really as poorly as the Titans. But Nick Foles is struggling in all areas, including passing from a clean pocket. So even when he has time, he hasn't been good. Only the Texans are producing fewer rushing yards per game than Chicago's offense. And probably not by design, only Jacksonville is throwing the ball at a higher percentage of the time than the Bears, which isn't what you want with this quarterback situation. Still, I think a big day could be in store for Allen Robinson, and the Bears have had some some other lesser weapons step up a bit of late in the passing game as well. Um, special teams have been a huge problem for the Titans this year, and dating back to last year, their kicking field goal situation is just dismal. That could really come into play into in what I expect to be a tight game. You know, that's basically the the Bears formula every week: keep it close, rely on their defense. So special teams could be very important. Still, I'm going to take Tennessee 24-21. Thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yardbark.